This episode of Soldier you Knows Best is brought to you by Squarespace. Hey, what's up, guys? So you know what's best here. The iWatch from Apple is coming, and I think it's coming very, very soon. I think by the summertime, we'll already have our first glimpse at this new wearable from Apple. Now, the iWatch has been rumored to be a lot like the iPod Nano back when they had that square version of it, which I thought it would have been really easy for Apple to transition that particular device over to a watch concept, as we saw a lot of third-party manufacturers start to actually make watch wristbands for the iPod Nano. But Apple didn't do that. They, I guess they didn't feel it was the right time for it. Now, I do wear my Galaxy Gear out with me, and a lot of people do notice it, even though it may be kind of halfway covered up by my sleeve. They say, oh, there's, there's one of those smart watches there. They really don't call it by name, but they do recognize it from the commercials. And I have to say, they are generally interested in the Galaxy Gear. I do spend a couple minutes talking about it, but they still haven't, you know, decided themselves to go get it one because of the price point, too. It only works with certain devices. And these are this is definitely something that Samsung can really easily overcome, especially with rumors of them announcing the Samsung Galaxy Gear 2 at NWC that's coming up later this month but Apple definitely has an opportunity to release a watch that looks like it's going to be mostly focused on health and fitness and, and sleep because they are hiring a lot of these different experts in these categories uh, to help come and, and bring them aboard, looks like, for this iWatch project. And this is definitely an area that the Galaxy Gear or the Pebble smartwatch definitely don't have a foothold in yet. So Apple could probably bring that over to a watch concept and really have a really big advantage over the rest of the market. As far as other features, it'll definitely have some internal storage. You'll be able to store music and photos on there, I'm assuming, um, access your emails and different things like that via Bluetooth, or uh, they'll probably still be taking a lot of advantage of iBeacon, which they're really starting to push out more and more in different markets. Uh, probably won't have NFC as no Apple device has NFC, but uh, I will say that this iWatch would be able to work independently from having a, a smartphone or internet connection. Um, you can still just use it, and then probably when you get home, you can just plug it into your commuter, or again, some way via Bluetooth, you can sync over all that information with an app that Apple may release, or just, again, on the iCloud website. But again, I do think the main focus of this iWatch will be health and not just tracking your calories, but tracking your heart rate. And it can do a lot, a lot more advanced stuff with this where it is not just going to be for the young and people who are running and working out, but also for the elderly as well to kind of keep tabs on them and may have a button where if you fall, you can't get up, you can <laughs> use your iWatch or something like that, you know. And I think that it's a very good opportunity for the, the health community. Uh, but I think they should also to try to maintain some focus for just casual users. Why do they want to get the iWatch? What can you really do with the iWatch that you can't do with your phone. And I think that's the one hurdle that not only Apple, but all these other uh, companies are who are manufacturing smartphones are going to have to go through. And so again, this is just my thoughts about the iWatch, as I think I'm pretty sure that it'll come out um, this year in 2014. And they'll probably announce it in WWDC, which is around June. Um, and they'll probably announce it alongside iOS 8, which will, which will probably have a ton of ton of features that will work with this iWatch and also the other Apple devices. And we may not see it actually be released until the fall. So we may still have a little wait for it. But I think this year we will probably see it in this will be Apple's first kind of major product release in a new product category uh, from them in a while. So it'll definitely be interesting to see if Apple can be successful with this iWatch. So leave your comment down below what you think about this. Would you probably want an iWatch or what would you want to see in an iWatch when it does come out? And thanks for watching this video, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace. And the sponsor for today's video is Squarespace. And Squarespace has been around for 10 years now, and they've been constantly improving the tools that they give to people like me and you or other businesses and corporations that want to create a website with minimum fuss and make it very quick and easy for you to do. Now, they have beautiful templates for you to start off with, but you can still customize and tweak them to your own like them to really personalize your website. And all these templates do have their own mobile version, so you don't have to worry about that. So if somebody does go to your site or on a cell phone or a tablet, it's going to scale automatically for them. And then also, to just launch a new product called Squarespace Logo, which makes it very easy for you to make a logo that you can go ahead and see and share it upon a t-shirt or a website or a business card. And so right now, you can go ahead and start your trial of Squarespace and see how you like it just by going to squarespace.com. And when you do decide to sign up, just use the offer code SOLDIER2 and you'll get 10% off of your first purchase. I'm already saving you some money. But anyway, just go to squarespace.com and then again, use the offer code SOLDIER2, save some money, try it out, and I think you'll like it.